Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. It's great to be back in class. Um, even though we are not back in person, I know that uh, your teachers and I have missed seeing your faces in class. And I hope that I can stop by every classroom this morning as well as tomorrow morning and um, see all of your smiling faces. I hope you had a good break. This is our January pledge. And we always start off with the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And our Ord Terrace Pledge. I am a member of the Ord Terrace family. I act responsibly, I behave respectfully, I care for all. This week, I want you to think about how you can um, act responsibly. I know that when I come back from a vacation or a time when I haven't been working, sometimes it's hard for me to get back into the routine of being responsible. There's things that I have to do every day, just like there are things that the teachers have to do every day and your parents have to do every day and other people in your family have to do. There are things that you have to do. So today we're going to talk a little bit about some of the things um, that you need to do to be responsible. Let's go ahead and sing our Odo the Otter song. Ready? Odo Otter, Odo Otter, living high above the bay at our terrace elementary. He comes to school every day. He's our mascot, caring mascot, part of the OT family. He protects us, he respects us, he's a friend to you and me. Odo's kind and Odo's helpful, Odo's neat as he can be. He accepts us, won't reject us, Odo Water from the sea. Here's to Odo, Odo Water, he's a pal to big and small. We're all otters from more terrorists, and he loves us one and all. You know, one thing I've realized I always wondered why was it harder to sing that song when we were outside during the pledge ceremony at Ward Terrace? Hmm. Well, it's usually really, really cold in the morning. And here's a fun scientific fact for you. Singers do not like cold weather. Singing is horrible for your voice when it's really cold because your voice box, which is the part that makes noise, needs to be a little warmed up. And so most singers, um, do things to keep it warm. So I'm sitting here um, and it's it's very, very warm inside. So it's much easier to sing. All right, well, the first thing I wanna say is welcome back. We are so happy to see you again. The teachers spent a couple of hours on Monday this week. Um, they were working yesterday and Monday and they spent a couple of hours looking at some of the youth truth survey data. So third, fourth, and fifth graders, you took the youth truth survey a couple weeks before break. Uh, we started to look at it and we started to look at things that are great and also things that um, across the whole school we can get better at. So I just want you to know that our school motto is our voices shape our world and your voices were very important to help us have conversations about that. One thing we did talk about is ways to help students feel welcome, to help you feel like you belong as part of the classroom and the school-wide community. So one thing that I like to do is, um, and it's really important for me because there's 400 students at Ord Terrace, is I like to say students' names when I see them. And if I can't say their name, that's a reminder to me that I need to, to work on that. So um, if I see you, I wanna be able to say good morning and then say your name. I know that when people see me and they say my name, it helps me feel like I belong. 
um, that I belong to the community. But there's other ways that that you can um, be a part of a community, but that's just one way that came to my mind. Um, all right, and I just wanna remind all of you, we've got our continuum of engagement. I know that some of your classes have different versions of this and they look different with different colors, but this is the version that I use. And remember, even though it's hard um, to, um, especially coming back from break to be engaged and you kind of want to maybe avoid the work, which means not do it, or maybe you're distracted, you're withdrawing. Today and all this week, I want you to try to at least be here where it says participating. I want to see you doing the work, paying attention, sitting up, having your cameras on and responding to questions. And then throughout January, I want you to try to continue to move towards this side of the continuum. I want to hear you asking good questions. And I want you to feel like what you're learning is important and that it helps you outside of class. And you took iReady before break, which was the online test on the computer. And some of you ha might have some goals that you need to set based on that data. So um, maybe you were really good at doing certain things, but there's other things that you might need more, more practice with. So think about the test and think about the parts that were hardest for you. The parts that were hardest, that's what you need to be working on this month, okay? Just a reminder, another way to be responsible is to use your eye ready and learning A to Z every day. This is, um, probably the easiest way that you can be responsible when you're not in school. Do a little bit with learning A to Z. Read one book, or if you're um, above, level, um, above level P, read um, part of a book every day. And then uh, I ready um, make sure you put in at least 45 minutes per week for math and 45 minutes per week for reading. But that's just on your student path. Your teachers will also assign lessons that you have to do in addition to that. So as long as you keep up with that, I know that you are going to be um, ready to go by the end of the year. Also, um, this month, uh, all students are going to be reading um, in learning a, learning a to Z. You're going to be reading a passage, which is um, like a, a short story, and you're going to be recording yourself reading it. And your teachers are going to listen to you read it. And um, that's how they're going to make sure that you're at the right reading level and learning A to Z. So maybe right now you're at a level P but maybe you think, you know, I, I, I can read harder books. I can, I can do more than this. Do really well when you read this passage and you might be able to move up a level. Or if you're at a level C or D and you wanna move up, um, when you do this, I'll, we call it a test, but it really is just a check to see how you're doing. Your teacher will tell you about what that looks like. And we're going to start that next Monday, okay? So don't worry about it today, but we are going to be checking everybody's reading levels this month to make sure you're at the right level. Also, not this Monday, but Monday, January 18th, there won't be any school that Monday. His birthday is actually January 15th, but we celebrate his birthday um, on the third Monday of every January. So that Monday, there will be no school. Dr. Martin Luther King was an, an amazing leader. And our school motto is our voices change our world. And his voice helped change the world in many positive ways. He helped change laws uh, that um, the laws used to say um, that um, Black people, African Americans couldn't do certain things that other people could do or didn't have certain rights. And he helped change that. And not only that, he helped change how people thought about what was fair and what was not fair. So we celebrate his birthday every year um, on that Monday. 
So there won't be school on January 18th, but there will be this Monday. So make sure you show up to school this Monday. Okay. All right. That is it. I promised everybody a short pledge ceremony today. And I um, look forward to visiting your classrooms and seeing all the hard work you are doing. So have a wonderful January and do your best. Follow your ABCs. Bye.